Turn for the worst Monday night after Border Patrol agents get the call that illegal immigrants took to the water in the Brazil ship channel. There was an individual in distress, so I've, I got my, uh, my flotation device and I, I donned it and uh, I proceeded to the area. Agent Manuel Barreda says one man was unable to swim across the channel near the Shrimp Basin on Highway 48 and was yelling for help. At that point, we contacted Coast Guard. Um, but I realized uh, that the individual was not, you know, because of the temperature of the water was not going to be there. Uh, Coast Guard might not make it on time. It was then that Agent Barreda had to make a decision, wait for help or go in himself. Already strapped in a flotation device, he jumped into the waters in the dead of night. Uh, I swam out to the individual and uh, I gave him instructions not to grab me. Um, I then, uh, he said that his, he couldn't feel his legs or his arms. I went ahead and grabbed him underwater. The agent demonstrates what he did next to get the man to shore. But even with all his training as an agent on boat patrol, after 15 minutes in that water, Bareda wasn't sure he could make the 120-foot tow back to safety. I could feel my muscles tensing up also. He shows us how he then placed the immigrant in front of him, pushing the man through the water, counting on a fellow agent to help pull the man the rest of the way in. All through this, there was another agent uh, on the edge of the water that uh, that helped me mentally stay focused because he kept on telling me, you're going to make it, man, you're, you'll be fine. You're... And uh, that helped us a lot, both of us, to put us in the right state of mind. All parties back on shore and it was back to business. The man Agent Barreda had just saved from drowning did not want medical attention and was placed in custody to be deported back to his home country. It doesn't matter who it is, you know, if I can help them, uh, you know, I, I believe that it's my job to do so.